Hi guys, it's Katie. Welcome to my YouTube channel and to my blog. Today I am sharing with you a few things from the Close to My Heart catalog, which I am going to be using for my Project Life book. If you followed me for any time at all, you'll know that Project Life has been the way that I've been scrapbooking our family memories for quite a while now. And Close to My Heart offers a similar system, which they call pocket scrapbooking and their products are called picture my life and I just wanted to share with you I'm going to show you the catalog here this shares shows you the different styles that of memory protectors page protectors that close to my heart carries this one here which is designed for, that is the one that I normally use. And I'll show you my album in just a minute. I'm also using this one because it provides the vertical card or slots for pictures. Because a lot of my pictures that I take with my um, iPhone are usually vertical. That's just how they are. And the other ones that I try to take are vertical. However, they have some other options, which is great. These are the four albums that Close to My Heart carries right now. These two are the 12 by 12 D ring, which is the style that I like. And then these are the um, post bound. And I guess all four of these are available in either the D ring or the post bound. So whatever style that you like, I'm particularly fond of this one and this one. So I haven't chosen yet which one I want for 2016, but I will share a little bit of what I'm doing for 2015. This is my album and it's already big. It's white. I do not like that because it's already dirty, but that's okay. This was from, I should find out. This was an actual Becky Higgins album that I purchased I'm pretty sure on Amazon and let me zoom out a little bit this is our cover page I haven't filled in all the pictures yet because I kind of like to do pictures from the year on here so I am usually waiting until the end of the year for those so this is how I do my albums and I've talked about this quite a bit um, on my blog before I don't have any set way that I do them or any set frame of time. I am just documenting what we are doing. I don't, um, just whatever our pictures are doing. Sometimes I take a lot of pictures of one thing and sometimes I don't take any. So it just kind of depends and then I just go with the story that we have. Um, this one here, and I've shared before, and I will link to this. These were 12 by 12 pages that I had printed from um, the Project Life app. And like I said, I just kind of go with it. So, and most of these you can see are the vertical or the horizontal and then the slots. I also have some little insert pages in here. Here is some of the vertical ones with the pictures, or the, sorry, the cards. And like I said, I have a lot of things that I've been gathering for Project Life for a long time. And so I wasn't going to buy anything new, but I really wanted to get some of the close to my heart stuff so that I could share it with you. And I will share that in a minute. Those are a different thing, but these are, what did I do with my little over? These are the Picture My Life. This one is through the year scrapbooking program, and this one is the Heartstrings. And I chose these two because I thought these would work the best for our family album. They were kind of gender neutral, and they're not really anything crazy. I don't, I don't know. I don't really think that some of them will work for me just because they're kind of geared towards one thing. And so the way that I'm doing it isn't really geared in any one thing. It's just my family. So 
I thought I would open these up and share with you what comes in each one of these packs. And I'm gonna look really quick. Okay, so each one of these scrapbooking programs from Close to My Heart comes with 20 of the four by six cards. And remember, this is the heart string collection. So it looks like there is two of each card, which is pretty cool. And I like that they go both ways because like I said, I do a little bit of both. And like I said, these are just very neutral to our family. These are a little bit more loved themed, you know, with the heartstrings. But to me, that's perfect because that's what I'm documenting is our family. That one's kind of fun highlight of the week. What a great day. And a little bit of information. And what I love about all of the cards, and especially these, is you can use both sides. You can have both sides showing, and that makes them, you know, almost double what you had. And then these are the three by four cards, and there are 36 of those in each one. And again, it looks like there's two of everything. quote of the day that's cute this happened well you can see both of them oops that one's cute looking good love builds a happy home oh I love the ones with the cameras so these are very fun oh here's a nice little quote I don't, um, I also do not make my pages, I mean, I sometimes I do decorate a little bit more than other times, but I don't color coordinate them and all that jazz. To me, these are just keeping our memories. And I have to tell you, that is one reason why I stopped scrapbooking, is I just felt like it was all about the art of it and not so much about what we were doing which is documenting our photos and with the pocket scrapbooking system to me I feel like I can just document the stories and the pictures and get going I do like to do some layouts but I do them very rarely that one's cute too so again that was the heartstrings program and then this one is the through the year, which I thought was also another one that was perfect for documenting for family because it's just kind of month to month. I don't, like I said, I don't really keep track of things or do things in a weekly or monthly basis, but these will be kind of nice to help me kind of figure out a time frame when I am working through them. So, and I apologize for the noise in the background. I've started a fire today and it's squeaking up. So, this one, again, there are 36 of these 3x4 cards. And it doesn't look like these ones are doubled up. But what it looks like is one side is vertical and the other side is horizontal. So, again, making a little bit more for your money. There's some numbers. I love the watercolor wash of these. That font is just really fun to me. Oh, that's kind of cool. Happy anniversary. Now, that's another thing that would be really fun for these is you could use them on your cards if you wanted to and make some cards out of them. And maybe I'll do that later this month and share that with you guys how you could use these journaling cards on a handmade greeting card to send to someone. I love the ampersand. But these are all just very fun. They're kind of washed and then they're kind of circled on the back. That's cute. That's kind of fun for a busy week. Love this. Oh, there's a happy birthday one that would be fun on a card.
Did I skip one? Yep, I skipped one. That's a pretty rose flower. The watercolor is just amazing on this. I love that. And I love how big these ones are. You could add a little embellishments if you want, if you don't. So again, this is from, what did I say this was? <laughs> Through the year. All right, and then these are the four by six. And again, they are, there are 20 of them and they are the same thing. They're horizontal and then vertical. And which, yeah, you could do either way with that. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's fun. Cute. Oh, look at that one. That's pretty. All about the rainbow. I do kind of like this. Maybe I will kind of incorporate these for next year a little bit more. Kind of keep my months and separated. Fun. I always get so many things with so many good intentions and I am so far behind in my Project Life album right now that it's not even funny. I love that reverse, the white there. There's my favorite month. <laughs> oh, that's cute. The purple happening now. That's fun. And today, I keep flipping these the wrong way. And then there's some month or a month. That might be fun, keeping track of something. March is green, of course, and then April. So, those are really fun. And I will be incorporating them. And I'm gonna make that one of my goals for 2016 is to share a little bit more um, Project Life stuff with you guys on YouTube and on the blog. But I wanted to share these with you so that you kind of could get an idea of what is available through Close to My Heart that you could use in your Project Life or pocket scrapbooking. So those are two kits. Now this one, this I just love, and I don't really know how I'm going to use it, but something new from Close to My Heart is called their Insta Life. And if you're on Instagram, of course you, um, get your little pictures and they're four by four. So this is a little four by four album. This is the Berry album from Close to My Heart. Oh, I'm disappointed. I didn't realize that it didn't come with memory or with the pages, page protectors. I thought that that came with the album, but they don't. So that's good to know. These albums are $7.95, so they're really kind of cute. And my plan for this, McKinley is taking a photography um, classes through 4-H. And so I got her this cute little album and some of the cards for the InstaLife cards so that she could keep her pictures in there. So I'm going to show you. I have a mess here. This is the page from the Close to My Heart catalog. There's the Berry album and the Teal album. $7.95. And then there's the Memory Protectors, which these ones are 4x4, and then these are 2x2. Two two. And right now there are currently two kits, the Colorful Me and the Bright Side, and each one of those is $6.95. And then we have these fun um, roller stamps. And I think that's all for the Insta Life, yes. But this is new, and I just thought it was kind of cute because I am an Instagrammer, and McKinley is a picture taker too, so I thought that this would be kind of cute for her to keep, and I kind of wanted to just check it out so that I could also share it with you. So I will share with you what is in the Colorful Me kit, and these are four by four, and then there's some two by two cards in there as well and let me look quickly in each kit there are 10 4 by 4 cards 30 2 by 2 printed cards there are 6 4 by 4 die cut cards and 10 2 by 2 die cut cards so that is 
50. That is 56 little pieces in each kit. And each kit is $6.95, so that's a pretty good deal. So let's start with our two by two cards. And I will zoom back in for you guys. Okay, so these are the two by two printed cards, double sided. And it looks like they have the same thing on the front and the back, which is pretty cool. And they kind of too have a bit of a watercolor paint wash to them, but they're just a bright and fun color. That's cute. And I thought that these would be fun for the photos that McKinley takes that we could print off in two by two so they will fit in there with these little cards and also by four by four. bright colors and a little bit of everything in here. So that is the 30 two by two printed cards. And these are the 10 two by two die cut cards. And let's see, these are the same front and back. So that's pretty cool too, they're similar. And you can use either side. You could put a little picture behind there, or you could pair it up with one of the printed card stocks. Whoop, awesome. <laughs> Those are cute. And then these are the 10 four by four printed. So these will fit in your album just like that. Those are pretty cool. And it looks like they are the same front and back. Yep. Which that'll be fun for some journaling and documenting too. Maybe she can use that to journal some tips and things from her photography class. But these would be just fun to use. These are the die cut cards. And they are the same on both sides. Oh, of course there's a selfie. <laughs> That's cute. And look how that kind of makes the high. Now that would be kind of cute too. Or you could just use this one. And here's a fun little quote, which could be paired up with one of these lined ones, maybe. Maybe not this one particularly, but fun. So there's lots of good ideas. And I again, this is the Berry Album and the Colorful Me Insta-Life kits. These could also be used in your regular um, 12 by 12 Project Life scrapbooking album if you wanted to. You could make these work. You could find the page protectors. Unfortunately, Close to My Heart doesn't offer a 4x4 four four option, but I do know that they are available out there if that's something you use. Then the Insta-Life um, kits would work perfectly but maybe if you're just looking for something fun maybe for a little travel album or something this would be a cute option um, I just wanted to share with you guys today what some of the options are for pocket scrapbooking from close to my heart and this are some of the things that I'm going to be using and so hopefully you can be watching for some new videos from me using these fun kits in Project Life and in the Insta Life kit. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that and I appreciate you guys stopping in and visiting and I will be back again shortly. Have a great day. Bye.